I ski mostly double black. Hard charging, try to challenge myself. And there's bumps and moguls and it's very hard on your back. I couldn't walk 100 yards. I would crouch down almost to the floor to relieve the pain in the, in the rear of my spine. It got to the point where I couldn't grocery shop. My quality of life was nil at that point. That's when I started doing the research and came here. Someone like Joel, who's extremely active, wanted to get back on the ski slopes, wanted to play golf, um, he obviously wants a surgery that, first of all, makes that happen as fast as possible and also allows him to get back to that level of activity as reliably as possible. So the uh, exlaphorlateral approach is an attempt to completely avoid the back muscles. And to do this, we go through the side where we really don't have to violate any of the important back muscles. So what we're doing with the lateral approach is doing the same fusion we've always done, but doing it with much less collateral damage, much less uh, injury to the muscles, and all of that leads to a much faster recovery. And touch your toes. Two weeks later, I felt great. I was walking four miles. It was the first time in at least four years where my torso was straight in line with my hips. We've helped develop the, these techniques. I think we probably have more experience than anyone in the Midwest in minimally invasive surgery. Probably as much experience as any surgical practice in the country. Eighty-five percent of patients, when asked two years later, said they would go through the surgery again. I did my research and found this. The fact that they do the white socks and they do the bowls in this orthopedic group lets me know that if they're entrusted with those multi-million dollar professional athletes who need their bodies whole, then that's the place I want to be. Since the surgery, I feel like a million dollars. I haven't felt this good in 10, 15 years. And uh, sky's the limit now.